That's why a minister of God can tell you, can tell you, next week you are going to be blessed. Then he says, I'm prophesying to you. He just realized he uttered a word by faith. And then he says, hey, it's a prophecy. You're going to get it. He probably didn't have any revelation. There didn't have to be a revelation. Prophecy is speaking thoughts. The rhema of God. Now, in your life, if you don't speak, brother, you will roast. He says, in the last days, says God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. That means speak words of power. So you become the prophet of your life. You might feel like the most neglected person on the face of the earth. Let me tell you something. You're there at home and you say, what's your name? What's your name? What? Dennis. Daniel. All right. You might feel like the most neglected person and you shut your door. You're alone. You're crying because you feel like everything's gone bad. You may be crying. Why are you crying? Say, Daniel, God said the Lord, I am with you, Daniel. I am with you. You said, Daniel, the Lord is your shepherd, Daniel. You shall not want. You may be in pain. You said, Daniel, you're coming out of this pain. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you. You are coming out of it. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes we are waiting for somebody to utter a word for us to be blessed. Listen, you are the children of the word. The word concerning you has been given. You don't have to wait for that. The Bible says you are the blessed of Jesus Christ. You are blessed. You cannot be cursed. You are blessed. He says you are called to inherit a blessing. Oh, glory to God. Called to inherit a blessing. It's yours. You have come at the right time. Are you hearing me? Yes. You were born for the blessing. You were born for good. Can you shout amen somebody? Hallelujah. You know, there's a lot of people, they don't know why their life is the way it is. They say, I believe all the good stuff about God, but I can't see this thing happening in my life. Because you don't know what to say. Look at, look at, God said, hurry out of Sodom. I'm burning it up. He said, angels, he said, get Lord out of that city. And while they were taking Lord out, the angels said, don't you look back. Don't you look back. Don't look back. Mrs. Lord looked back. The Bible says she was torn to a pillar of salt. But while they were escaping and forbidden to look back, to look at Sodom, Abraham was looking at the same Sodom. He was looking at Sodom. Why wasn't he torn into a pillar of salt? Because that commandment was not for everybody. <laughs> 